one is called the RFK Bridge. Right. It used to be called the Triborough Bridge when I was go growing up, but then some years ago they named it after Robert F. Kennedy. Hello YouTube family, welcome to Mrs. Koi Style. My name is Kawana. I thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where I speak about style. I do some hauls, some reviews, and every now and again, I sprinkle in a little bit of luxury. So if that is something that interests you, I certainly hope that you will continue watching and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification so that you never ever miss one of my videos. What are we doing in today's video? Yo, we're vlogging because we're heading to Woodbury Commons. And if you don't know, Woodbury Commons is a luxury outlet about 50 miles west or north. Let's say both. Look, I'm not a geologist. No, that wouldn't be a geologist. That would be... Anyway, we're going about 50 miles north of New York City to Woodbury Luxury Outlets. They have luxury outlets and then they have some other lux they have some other outlets too. All of the things, I'm gonna show it all to you and maybe we're gonna spend some coin up there. We're gonna see when we get there. But you wanna know who's rolling with me today? You wanna know who's rolling out with me to Woodbury? Meet the crew. We got my Hi. niece, January. Subscribe to my channel, it'll be down below. Say that again, Jan. Subscribe to my channel. It'll be down below. Yeah, January has her YouTube channel. I'm going to definitely link it below. Who's back there? Jasmine, hi. That's my niece, Jasmine. And we always, as always, have... Tay Tay. You know me. Taylor. And I will link both of their Instagrams also down below. So let's get on the road and see what's up there. Just gonna find some parking and get the shopping on and popping. Right turn onto Green Road. We can take it off. We had a good map. Next right. Sure enough, I'm just going to see the left. What are you talking about? He's in the house. Start recording. Tommy Hilfiger. So we got Hilfiger. Ralph Lauren. Aeropostale, Nordica, Guess. The Express Factory Outlet, I think I'm gonna hit that first. Actually, I think I'm gonna hit that first. Then we got Guess, not Guess, Guess. All Saints with my Angels. Alexander Wang too, ha. Shout out to Kanye West. Now we just looking for parking. Columbia. Oh, Steve Madden. That's the shoe store. Tommy Bahama. Fossil. That's watches, right? Does anybody know? Yeah. Lucky Brand. That's jeans. Levi's. That's jeans. We just went in a complete circle. Next right. Look at those hills. It's more of luxury. Mm -hmm. So I guess this is not parking. Good. Mm -hmm. It's a genius. Just looking for parking. Yeah. 
Okay, so we just got out of the car. We're gonna make our way around, figure out everything that we're doing, and you know, get these stores. Okay, so this is the, so look, now we're switching directions again. Cause I gotta do, I gotta do Gucci, Dior. I wanna go to Saks Fifth Off, Saks Off Fifth. I wanna do Bottega. This is where everything is, but then we still gotta get back to the other way. Am I in the frame? Mm -hmm. Is Balenciaga on there? No. no. Oh, off white, Kenzo, American Eagle. The old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Why? Oh. So there's no line at Balenciaga at all, but there is a wait to get in. So we'll have to wait and see what happens when we get in. Yes. Oh, I just. You haven't? See, I have like a bag already, but I'm thinking that I really like this chocolate colored right there. Gorgeous. Like, look at the green with the green bow. What's the price of that? And then green on green. Yeah. But it's kind of light. This is about Morant. Filming was not allowed in Bottega Veneta. However, I was able to capture these pictures of me carrying or holding these enormous size bags. So we just came out of Bottega Veneta. I finally saw like the Intrachata. They had these really big bags. I probably would have inserted some footage by now. I don't think we were able to record in there, so I believe I took some pictures. But in any event, I'm heading into Saks Off Fifth right now just to check out and see what they have. It's been a wait to get into every store, even if there were only two people in already. So I don't know if they're still really adhering to COVID regulations. I don't really know what's going on, but yeah, the wait isn't really fun. She's taking pictures of the security camera. One's better, Jasmine. Would you like them that much, Jazz? They're nice, but they do give me like a 1970. Uh, yeah. Better, Jasmine? You see, turn to the side. Are they even your size? <laughs> Why did you put on a 10, Jasmine? Oh, okay. Where in the in the case? Oh, they do? I'm coming around. I'm coming around, yeah. And they have some Bottegas. Oh, that's not bad. $14.99 for that size. I don't think so. I'm not sure. Insta, do we like the patent leather? Turn to the side. Or the leather here. 
Which one? I have to know, do we like this one or the leopard print one? Which one? So all of the girls scored except for me. So they all have, they all scored, but I didn't. My shoes are the best. Yours are the best, Jasmine? Mine don't tell the best. I, I, how does it My shoes are the best because I just have great taste. Oh, really? Go ahead, Jan. My shoes are the best because I'm matching my aunt and she's the diva. Who's the aunt? You. All right. <laughs> I have the best shoes because I have good taste, I have a good nitty, and I'm the best little cute girl in the world. So we're just waiting in a line outside of Fendi. I must go into Fendi because we know that Fendi is my absolute fave. And then Jasmine pointed out that yeah, I am carrying my Fendi bag. Oh, you know what I need to get? I need to get an OOTD for you folks. It's about 54 degrees up here today. So it's, it's much colder than the city, but we are up in the mountains. So that's what we expect. Is that from what I can tell out here it honestly isn't crowded inside so I'm just guessing that they're adhering to some very very early on COVID regulations because it it really it's it's not crowded inside at all not at all the crew Yes. And this one is a size 42. you'll see there's a line outside of Prada. I don't really have a Prada thing in mind, so I don't think I'm gonna stand in line for Prada, but I am going to hit up Dior right now. The boots that look like it has like the razor cut, laser cut, what do they call that cut again? Like, yeah, yeah, those are also cool. Oh, this is cute. Saint Laurent. The line outside of Gucci, always and forever. Line. Right, so, go where? 
For what? I'd like to look at their bags. And I'd like to buy little bags. That's one of my, one of my dream purses. To buy myself some of my big Do you remember when you gave me that little tiny bag? And I bought that little bag. Beautiful is this pink Balmain blazer dress. Just look at all the details. That is so good. Do you guys see the do you guys see the the cows? Well what do you see? Turn this way. What do you see? Maybe the mask. Maybe the mask. You don't see nobody that you know? I don't lie. God, it's fine. Little moose. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> so we are now at the family farm where we met up with my uncle and aunt and we surprised the girls. They didn't expect to see them. So it's going to be a complete family affair. Jasmine, I can't see your face. Come on, Jasmine. Come on. Taylor Oakley. That's like Annie Oakley, you get it? in a corn maze. But I think they could get distracted, but definitely not lost. The hardest thing you ever done yes, in your life. I was crawling through holes to get out. It's all in my pants. It, it was crazy. Are you being a little dramatic? No, no. It... Let me let the people see because this is the maze that was so difficult for my niece to get out of that she was able to see over for the entire maze. I mean, Jasmine, you think you're exaggerating a little bit? Come on, Taylor, you're going the wrong way. Look, look when Harlem comes to the, to the farm.
we are taking a wagon ride to the pumpkin patch to pick out pumpkins. Bumpy, bumpy, and rocky, and rocky. I just crossed this white He had some tailors, E-I-E-I-O, with a tailor here and a jasmine there, here a J, here a T, everywhere with T and a J. Alright, let's not do the What? But but you no, but What was the pumpkin tax like, Jasmine? Um, overwhelming. How was it overwhelming? What happened? That hay is too much. <laughs> there was hay in the pumpkin patch? What do you mean it was too much? What do you mean? It it was all in my pants and had them. The maze is horrible. Yes. Well, the maze, we're not talking maze. about the maze, we're talking about the pumpkin patch. How come there nobody... There were bugs. There were bugs in the pumpkin patch? Yeah, there was bugs on the pumpkin. It was disgusting. What? I hate it. But I still got to <laughs> One in this one is not as big as the one in. Is this still good? I think the one in Monroe is bigger than that. That's the whole thing? It's alright. These are pretty cute. Let me have it in black. It was action-packed with quite a few things. We're going to talk about what our favorite parts were. 
January, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was shopping. Shopping? What store? Every store we went. We Every went to Walmart and we went to um, Saks or Fifth Avenue. And then my second favorite part was getting a surprise by my family, my uncle and my aunt, because I haven't seen them in years. Jasmine, what's your favorite part? My favorite part was just hanging out with everyone. Nice. Taylor, can you see? Are you in there? I'm right here. Uh -huh. This is my favorite part, when I got a rainbow high to win. Where did you get that from? I got it from Walmart. It took oh. me a few hours, but my cousin took 500 hours. Oh, please. So thank you guys so much for riding along with us. We had a wonderful fall day in upstate New York. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And remember that everything I shared in this video and every one of my videos me, is me to a C.